is up wanderers we are here for another one take bag review and this time we're going to do a reverse loadout <clears throat> of a bag that i have been looking for for a long time what is this this is an og that's my term not the name of the bag in case icon sling pack okay now i know what you're thinking if you're a regular viewer of this channel but wait haven't we reviewed other Icon Sling Packs? We have, but they weren't the real deal. They were branded by NCASE as Icon Slings, but this one is the actual Icon Sling, meaning that it is intended to be a sling version of the iconic Icon bag, okay? So you know what we do on this channel. We're gonna do one take review. We're gonna do a full walkthrough of the exterior of this sling bag, very cool sling bag. Um, and then we are going to do two things we love about this bag, two things not so much, and then an overall review of should you buy this bag. I'm going to be up front with you. That one's going to be a little bit different this time because even if you should buy this bag, you may not be able to buy this bag. We're going back in time here, and I am putting out a plea to in case to start making this bag again. We'll get into it. You'll see why. All right, exterior walkthrough. This is the same really durable nylon fabric that InCase uses on the Icon bag, which is, you know, it's been around forever. It may not get as much pub as, as much as like Nomadic um, or Boundary Supply or some of the more mod brands, but this was one of the first really Apple tech focused brands that took, um, that moved us beyond, you know, Jan Sport and Targus and kind of old school brands that you could buy at Target um, and moved us into kind of a higher end bag culture. Um, it's not the first, but it's in that first wave of, you know, higher quality tech focused carries for folks. So uh, moved us beyond rolling briefcases um, that came with your bag um, into something you bought to carry your material that you take so much pride in. Let's jump in. So you have this great material. You have a really subtle branding nod here. This is in case and a very comfortable grab handle. Um, and then you've got side pockets, a front pocket, a main compartment, a laptop compartment. We're going to look into all those. And then you have a very well cushioned back with deep grooves for airflow and then a two-part um, strap here that has really nice hardware um, easy to adjust and when you toss this bad boy on because of the kind of split in the handle here it feels very supported it carries really well feels exactly right um, so uh, Design-wise and form factor-wise, it, it's a lot like the 511 LV10 that we reviewed recently, um, but that one's more tactical focus, and this one's more tech focus. so this one hits me in my sweet spot. Um, so let's dive in. Interior of this bag, we're going to start up front. This pocket here is no frills, okay? On the inside, you've got kind of a, it's hard to describe, and you won't be able to see it very well but it's a navy blue pocket on the inside of a navy blue bag. And then it's got a really nice liner that has kind of a, I guess a star pattern. Uh, think uh, Qbert, but stars instead of squares. Uh, this bag, this pocket is kind of rounded with the shape of the bag. There's not tons of room, but it is the entire front pocket. So this is a great drop pocket for very slim items. We're talking, you know, papers, we're talking masks, we're talking, Anything you have that is very slim. You could very easily also toss a bunch of power cords in here, okay? So we're gonna do a reverse load out of this bag uh, and kind of see how we would use this space in this bag. So we are actually going to toss in a power cord into this space and a go-to item, uh, my when I'm bored gaming device. Toss those in here and we'll zip it up for now. Um, I could also toss some face masks in there, but uh, don't have them sitting on my desk right now. So, you then have a full open side pocket here. You could very easily put a drink in there. I don't carry water bottles very frequently, so we're going to use it to drop in our nice battery backup. 
nice size pocket. Very useful size of pocket. All right, we'll zip that bad boy up. Unzip this one. This one has an admin pocket behind it and it has a stretchy pocket in the actual um, inside of the flap. So what can we do with this one? Well, pretty easy, right? Drop a pin in there, drop our flashlight, which I always carry a pin light because um, they always fit in my admin pockets. Um, so we'll drop a couple of pins in here, load this bad boy out, a Sharpie, well, there's another pin pocket. Let's keep going. Let's, let's use all our pockets. So one, two, three, four pin pockets, all large enough to fit two pins, really. Um, and then you've got a drop pocket here, so we'll go ahead and toss in our multi-tool and we'll zip it up. All right, that brings us to the main compartment, the main event. All right, let's do it. look at the front hand, front inside pocket first. You've got two stretchy pockets up top here. Nice. So we'll open them up. And let's slip in power brick and power cords. Um, and you, if you think of yourself, you know, there's no way my laptop brick would fit in there, please consider getting a smaller laptop brick. You do not need to carry that big giant thing around that the laptop came with. This is a 100 watt um, nano charger that handles a laptop just fine. Um, I've never had any issues with it. USB A and C and you can get that on Amazon. I'll put that link in the um, video description. You should get one of those. Um, all right, now inside the bag, huge compartment. I mean, this is so tough to show you, but look how big that thing is. It's massive. You also have a tablet sleeve in here and then two drop pockets. So we're gonna toss our iPad Pro in here. Nice. And gosh, let's toss in our knickknack pouches. Let's toss in our AirPods. And there's a water bottle pocket too. So we can toss in our water bottle pocket as well or a water bottle as well. Now we've got that thing loaded out, no issues. It just devours space, it devours items. All right, and then we've got a very nice felt lined laptop pocket for a 15 inch laptop back there. Zip that up and we are cooking. Now you can see there's a couple of items I didn't toss in. Uh, really, there's plenty of room in the main compartment for them. If I hadn't gone with those giant knickknack pouches, then I could have put the other things in. So, not not particularly worried about that. Okay, so plenty of room in this bag for anything we want to use this main compartment for. All right, so what do we like about this bag? Two things we like about this bag. Number one. It is designed for tech. Like it is not just tech forward. It is designed for tech and it just gobbles up the tech. Really nice laptop pouch, really nice uh, tablet pouch and enough space for headphones and gimbals and anything else you want to carry. You could toss a Mavic drone in its pouch in this bag. I know InCase makes a drone bag now, so maybe maybe you get that instead, but you could use this. Second piece we really like about this bag, so first one, if I didn't enunciate it well, is that it is a tech-focused bag, and it does that incredibly well. The second piece I really, really like about this bag is the uh, way that it fits in when you carry it. So that is everything down to the strap and the cushioning. And then when you grab by this handle, it's a nice carry too. So the carry of this bag is the second thing that I really enjoy. What do I not enjoy? So the two things that are like meh, the first thing that I don't enjoy is uh, a couple of the material choices. So the pulls on the zipper are terrible. Um, and then we've just grown a lot. And so, you know, 
I'd like a really tough Cordura on this. X-Pac would be sweet. Uh, and then it's only offered in this navy and then black uh, with a black interior or a navy interior. So this bag popping with like a really light gray interior would be very nice. Um, and then an X-Pac would be great. Imagine this in X-Pac black with a blaze orange interior. Well, you're probably thinking I'll just buy from Alpaca then. Yeah, maybe so. Um, so the second piece I don't like about this bag is that they stopped making it. They stopped making this bag about four years ago. If you Google in case icon sling, number one, you'll probably find this video. Welcome. Beyond that, you'll find like a Carryology review from 2018. You'll find like gear reviews from 2016, 2017. This is a bag, but it's also a time capsule, kind of a, a moment in time for the, the carry world. This was top of the line stuff. Um, and how did I get my hands on it? Well, you got to watch eBay. I have been. I've been watching eBay for over two years. I still haven't gotten this bag. I found this on Mercari Japan. And then I bought the auction on Mercari Japan and paid another company, Baii, who knows, to actually make the purchase, grab the bag, and ship it to me internationally from China. Ah, that was a lot of steps. It was very confusing. Keep your eye out. Set up an eBay alert for NK's Icon Sling. If you can get one, not only is it a great bag, you're definitely going to be the only one you ever see carrying this bag. It is so good. If you can get it, snag it. Don't ask questions, just snag the bag. Um, I, but you may not be able to. This one's not gonna go up on my Poshmark or Depop stores, um, which I do have and you can check out. Um, this one's staying with me. I love it, I've been looking for it forever. I'm gonna use it a lot. You guys, thank you so much. Really appreciate all of your support. Please like the video. Please share the videos that you've enjoyed as well. That really helps the channel. And then subscribe if you're new here. Thanks everybody, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.